Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you how you can do a force reset on all your clocks on your GPU. Why do you want to do this? Well, sometimes when you're running the minor software and it quits abruptly, you may have a blue screen of death from Windows or something just isn't running right. You can go in and use the command line tool that comes with the NVIDIA drivers when you install them. It's the NVIDIA dash SMI right here and you run it you can run it in a command line as admin you run your command tool as an administrator and you can just do NVIDIA dash SMI dash help to see it or you put it in a batch file so what you like I said the reason you may want to do this is so you don't always have to constantly be rebooting your rig your windows or hive OS restarting the server or stuff like that the rig uh, this is a shortcut goes in resets everything and then you can just restart the miner and hopefully if there's no hardware issues you should be up and running again and things should be hashing and and working as you expect so let me go show you this it is uh, nvidia dash smi what i do is um i bring up a command tool you can just see if you want to see all the options on this thing read about it just don't start firing off commands make sure you know what you're doing and you have to make sure the miner is stopped. So I'd right click on command prompt, run as administrator. Yes. And then what you can do is, um, let's get this over here. I don't want to do anything. Look, I have the miner running with horrible temperatures. I'm going to address that in another video. I have copper heat sinks coming. That's going to hopefully drop those 3070 Ti mem temps down. It's just out of control right now. All right, let's close that. So that's gone. So I can do NVIDIA. Let's make this clear so you can read it. There we go. NVIDIA dash SMI. And you can do dash H to see all the commands that come with this thing. And then what we care about is, it's right in front of me. I'll find it in a second. There you go. Reset memory clocks. Resets the memory clocks to the default values. Reset GPU clocks, resets the GPU clocks to the, the uh, default values. And it gives you all the command and control stuff you want to do on the command line. So it's kind of a powerful little tool, uh, but it'll save you time from having to always restart your rig. Sometimes I would unload the driver and reinstall the driver just to make sure everything was cleaned out. But that really that really wouldn't help. That was just a lot of a lot of extra effort, and it really wouldn't always solve the problem. So I found this has been really useful. And so what I did, I made a little desktop thing. I made a batch file and I can simply go in here. And uh, so all I do is uh, reset GPU clocks, right? Then the next command is reset memory clocks. Make sure you have the dash, 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 dash. And then you got a little pause there so you can see what uh, gets displayed in the command tool. So all I do, I have it on desktop. It's a batch file. I do right click run as administrator. Do, 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 do. Yes, and then you'll see it pop up here. Again, no driver is running. I mean, no um, miner is running. No T-Rex, no NV. Nothing's running. The GPU is just sitting there. Run that thing. So it runs it. It says, all done. All done. And if there is no driver installed, it's like if you go and uninstall the NVIDIA driver for your card, it's going to barf and say, hey, there's nothing here to do. I can't do anything. So here, there, it found it. It cleaned it out. And then you say, okay, you know, press return to continue. It's done. That is it. You can go back and you can fire up your miner. Blammo, this is T-Rex. I'm doing a lot of testing on this card, so I'm doing a lot of start and stopping, and I got sick of rebooting just to make sure everything was cleared out. So this is a this is basically a quick and dirty way to, um, to kind of a force reset on the clocks, if you will, in a batch file. That is it. All right, guys, hope this helps. Give it a shot. Make sure you read about it before you try it. I don't want... I'm not responsible if you do it while it's running. I wouldn't do it while the miner's running. I don't recommend that. Just do it when nothing else is running. Clear it out. Almost like you're going to reboot. But always with some miners, make sure you read how to correctly exit the miner. Like T-Rex, you control C. It thinks for a little bit. It gets the interrupt. It goes and does a lot of cleaning up the resources. And then it says hit enter return. Hit yes to exit. And that's what you want to see.